welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the last week of June for the Pisces I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back we are doing cozy Saturday and cozy Saturday is when I'm coming from my bedroom and this is kind of good because we're trying out different sort of energy of course um, this is um, really really positive okay so let's turn around so you don't see my bag my bag of chips and all my shit I left my oh my bag okay so it is um cozy Saturday so what is happening in this week it's the last week of June beginning from 25th until 1st of July so we are going to be looking at the energies the zodiac and the energy is a fire energy and the zodiac energy is a water so this is good because the 10 um, there's a burden some of you are feeling very burdensome for whatever reason you're feeling very burdensome let's look at what is this all about not to worry your burden is um, it's nothing basically it's all in your head because the energy of the star is coming out okay You have the energy of the seven of swords someone tried to get away with something and it's not going to happen okay so let's see um, what else is <laughs> coming out yeah four of cups so you have as if uh, it's not a regret is that you're standing there thinking about what exactly just went on okay You have temperance you need to bring um, a situation in balance because you're feeling as if you have so many things to do and you need to do certain things and there is so much situation that is happening and you need to, and, and 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 it's all in your head okay you're balancing out your um, financial um, situation and that is um, coming in on Saturday and on a Sunday we have the energy of inner strength okay so you Pisces what's happening in this week what is happening it's all about where is six of cups some of you wonderful wonderful you Pisces okay some of you Pisces are going to be connected with someone it's as if uh, um, you are going to be connecting with someone, a past life relationship of a past life person in this week. And this is going to be wonderful because what is actually transparent is someone who is a soulmate or um, a soul connection. You're going to be um, connecting with this person in this week. So this is wonderful for you, Pisces. It could be that you're connecting with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Okay. Hold on. Let me um, get my... Yeah, and that's my... Um, I think I, I even made it worse okay because it was doing well I just moved and did something so let's look and see what is happening for you Pisces because I'm not really getting this fabulous week for you guys I'm seeing you begin the week with a lot of worries and Zorker and that sort of a thing and you you really don't need that basically Okay, and what the angels are coming in and your guides are saying, just take it one day at a time. Why? You know, just take it one day at a time. So what is the Ten of sword and the star is happening for you guys? It has to deal with someone who is a Pisces, can no, a Taurus, Virgo or a Capricorn. So some of you in the beginning of the week has to deal with someone who is a Taurus, Virgo or a Capricorn. Let's see what else is coming out with the star and the seven of swords and seven of swords keep on coming up because obviously there is a situation that is happening you have the page of swords so information is going to be coming at you from the king of pentacles whoever this person is some information is going to be coming to you from this person and it could be about something so let's see um what it is um rest you need sometimes to rest rest is um what you need okay I need to find out 
why are you so worried what is the situation why are you so worried what is really happening what is really transpiring you're mo moving on a new journey some of you could be traveling in the beginning of the week and this is why you are so very worried okay so this is why you feel as if oh my god i gotta get these things off i gotta get other things off i gotta I get the situation off and that sort of a thing i gotta get really some situations off so that i can um be of whatever to you okay and then we have the energy of the sun coming out so you pisces you don't have to worry there is good news that is coming to you um there's positive news that is coming to you um it is a situation where you're realizing that um you know your worries is just uh, it's all in your head i saw that i saw that because it's it's all about work and your boss i saw that because it's all about work and your boss so some of you could be traveling in this week and you're trying to get things together okay listen to your intuition listen to your intuition about whatever is going on at your work or whatever is going on around you listen to your intuition because your intuition is going to guide you on the positive part um some of you um are going to take some um time off from work um, I'm seeing you and, and you're going to make some plan. You need to um, find inner strength to deal with your supervisor boss or something like that. Okay. Um, you really need to find inner strength to deal with this person. This person um, could be someone who is over the age of 40 and is uh, and uh, Taurus um, and is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. I don't b really like this. Okay. Because what is happening what is happening here is that the energy of the um these older men so some of you who if your father is an um a taurus virgo or a capricorn um and you are worried you know maybe he says something or and you are worried and maybe he is um, need to rest maybe he is not feeling well that sort of a thing and you felt as if a burden because you need to take care of this person that sort of a thing um, basically what is going to happen to you is that um, it's all going to be okay all right it's as if you are worried about this person but it's all going to be okay then we have the energy of some of you um, or trying to get things off because you're going on a vacation and you're taking some time off from your supervisor your boss or that sort of a thing and um, you are going to find in a strength uh, um, to basically you're going to find in a strength um, to basically deal with the situation okay um, there is a situation that you're having here listen to your intuition about um, someone who is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius because this person who is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius um, I don't think that it, it was your boss or that sort of a thing but this person listen to your intuition about this person because I'm not really liking this person for you I don't know I don't you know if they are um, if they're like the Sagittarians and that sort of a thing, but once is an Aries um, person, be aware of it. But what is happening is that you know you're going to overcome whatever this person at place in your oh, oh whatever this person has place in your in your way. You're going to overcome this because what is going to basically happen and what is going to basically transpire is that you're really going to overcome this situation because um, the middle, whatever is going to happen in the middle of the week is that the sun energy comes out. And as if um, you're connecting with your soul family, and this is a good um, positive energy. Um, there's nothing about, um, and you're trying to balance your financial situation, especially in the weekend, you're trying to balance out your financial situation, but you are basically connecting with um, someone who is um, a soul family, um, someone who is coming in your life and you're understanding. Um, it, you know, maybe um, for some of you, you're understanding what is going on. 
I'm seeing information coming in, positive information coming in um, for you. If you um, were looking um, or if you um, are thinking about going, um, uh, changing jobs and that sort of a thing, because a new start is going to be happening for you in your work situation. A new start, new boss, um, a new start is going to be happening in your work um, situation. And this is going to be good. So let's see what is the outcomes. I'm seeing the end of uh, um, the end of uh, um, TEF, okay, or the end of your energy being drained. I've seen the end of a, a TEF or your energy being drained, okay, and see, it's the end. I told you, <laughs> it was a karmatic situation, <laughs> and the sun comes out, <laughs> okay, so this is wonderful i've been I've, I've been receiving these um um readings for you guys i've changed um energy so there was a situation where your energy has been drawn and that's why you had so burdens in the beginning and this is coming to an end and it was a karmatic situation so thank god for that i can understand this is what I'm using. So um, it's a positive. I love using this card deck because it's actually um, very positive. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm leaving you here. Outcomes is um, the energy of the sun. So whatever clouds that is beyond the sun, you're going to make it. Namaste until next week. Yeah.